Turn retirement savings into retirement income. We are here with the CEO of Scranton Financial Group, David Scranton, who is sharing some strategies for generating income in retirement. Hi, David. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Let's get right started. Just okay. first, talk about your background. Well, this is all I've done. I want to give away my age, but those good at math can figure it out. I've been in this business for 36 years, straight out of college, uh, certified financial planner, uh, CFA, Charter Financial Analyst. I actually have a graduate degree in financial planning, so it's a good thing I love what I do because it, it's not transferable anywhere else in the world. Sure, you know how to help people get set up for their future and, and mm -hmm. look at their finances, right? Now we're going to put up a full screen on okay. our screens for people to see an equation um, that you can help break down and explain for us. Sure. It's an equation that every investor should know, although most have forgotten, and that's total return equals income plus growth. TR equals I plus G. So think of it this way. You know, if you have a rental property, uh, you have two sources, two ways to make money, right? One is the rental income that you get, that's the I, the income, and the other one is the fact that property over time should appreciate in value, that's the growth, the G. What's so important about this is that through most of your working years, when you're accumulating, all you want is total return. You don't care whether it comes from the income or the growth, the I or the G. But when you get within that critical period, within 10 years of retirement, all of a sudden, where you get that return from does matter. And the I becomes the most important component. The income that gets paid out to a retiree so that person can, can live to replace that paycheck. Sure, yes, you said that the I is the most tricky for people. Why is that? It's the most difficult sometimes for do-it-yourself investors, and sadly, it's the most difficult also many times for financial advisors. And there's two mistakes I find that advisors make. The first is the overuse of annuities, okay? Now, annuities have their place. I'm not here to say they're bad, but the reality is that when you have an annuity, uh, you're spending down your principal, okay? Uh, the second mistake that I find a lot of advisors making is uh, trying to figure out how much you can withdraw from principal. In other words, taking the same G-based strategies that somebody used during the accumulation years and now trying to withdraw certain amounts. And they back test it mathematically and to try to prove that, okay, there's a very little chance of you being retired and running out of money. But the sad part is most of the time, an acceptable tolerance is a 10% chance of running out of money. Now, we have thousands of clients. So that means that, you know, I'd have to have hundreds of conversations with people saying they ran out of money. And that's not, I, I, to me, I think that's the worst thing the financial industry can do for people who are retired or close to retirement. So what's the answer? is just live off the I, live off the interest and dividends, and don't ever touch your principal. That's the only way you can really be assured that you're not gonna run out of money in retirement. Okay, and very quickly, lastly here, you do have some seminars where people can learn more. That's right, and some of you will write to our website at scrantonfinancialgroup.com and look up the dates and the events, or just give our office a call. We'd, we'd love to chat with you. Great, thanks so much for being here today. Thank and you. to learn more, again, you can visit scrantonfinancialgroup.com and of course on our website, wtnh.com slash ctmorningbuzz. Keep it right here. We will be back after a short break.